Hey and welcome back. Today we're talking about plasma. Plasma is one of the four fundamental states of matter. It consists of gas, ions and electrons. It is the most abundant form of ordinary matter in the universe. Plasma was first systematically studied by Irving Langmuir in the 1920s. If we want to change the state of matter from liquid to solid to gas to plasma, we can turn a gas into a plasma by heating or a strong electromagnetic field. The presence of charged particles makes plasma electrically conductive. Plasma is dynamic. It can move. Individual ions of plasma can be collectively influenced by electromagnetic fields. This response to manipulate the motion of plasma has been exploited and is used in modern technology and military applications. Plasma is a complex form. Plasma, the fourth state of matter's behavior, is extraordinary. The fourth state of matter Plasma has unique qualities that cannot be compared to other states of matter. Probably plasma's strangest feature is how it can spontaneously form shapes. It is defined by its own complexity. One form of plasma has been named impermeable plasma. This is a type of plasma that has qualities of solid. It can literally be pushed. Hans Alvin in the 1960s and 70s studied possible military applications. In 2013, a group of material scientists reported that they have successfully generated stable, impermeable plasma with no magnetic confinement, using only ultra-high pressure blankets of cold gas. This property of plasma to form and retain three-dimensional shape has been used by the military to project 3D countermeasures. And plasma can be generated by lasers. Tiny pockets of plasma can be excited in air. By high-speed manipulation of the laser producing the plasma ball, realistic three-dimensional moving objects can be projected into space. Future 3D plasma projection will be able to make solid objects. But if phantom objects can be projected, it would be the ultimate camouflage, countermeasure, or disinformation technique, making solid aircraft indistinguishable from their phantom plasma countermeasure. I'm only beginning to scratch the surface of plasma technology and I need your help. You know more than I do. The internet is full of experts. If you work in this field, get in touch. Let me point you in the direction of what I want to know. For the past few months, I've been researching a subject for a film which is deeply secret. I'm actually slightly worried by the whole subject because it, it delves into things of national security. And I would never expose something which would compromise any nation's security for my own sake and for the sake of that nation. But what I've learned about has been around for decades and it changes how we perceive the world. So this brief film is actually a fishing exercise by me. One or two of you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Please get in touch. When the time is right, and I've already got some very hard evidence about how this stuff works, I'll share it with everybody. But today I'm going to take a cue from one of my favourite films, Kiss Me Deadly. The filmmakers wanted to reveal a deep, dark, undercurrent secret in the film. And this 
is how they did it, by mentioning key words. How'd you get that? Now listen, Mike. Listen carefully. I'm going to pronounce a few words. They're harmless words. Just a bunch of letters scrambled together. But their meaning is very important. Try to understand what they mean. Manhattan Project, Los Alamos, Trinity. And that's exactly what I'm going to do for you. Foo Fighters. The Black Beacon at Orford Ness. Bordsey Manor Radar Research Center. B.T. Martlesham Heath at Astra House. U.S. Air Force Base, Bentwaters. U.S. Air Force Base, Woodbridge. And Rendlesham Forest. Have I opened Pandora's box? If you know what I'm talking about, Get in touch, because the truth is out there. Mm -hmm.